In this video, we're going to look at how we can disconnect our ASIO interface on Windows from being the default playback engine for Windows. That way we are just using our interface, in this case, our Avid 11 Rack. We're just going to use it for Pro Tools, okay? So let's look at why we want to do this first. Here we are in Pro Tools, and you can see under here on sample rate, I can't change the sample rate. That is because, as I previously mentioned, and as we've just shown, here in playback devices, our default playback device for our computer, meaning if we went to YouTube and played a video, that sound would be routed through our Avid 11 rack and come through the speakers connected to the back of the Avid 11 rack. Or if we were to say, open up uh, Windows Media Player, we try to play back a song. That's coming through our studio monitors, okay? But as you can see, that kind of causes a problem because Windows is now holding on to that driver. Now, yeah, uh, you know, we could come in here and find our Avid 11 Rack driver. We could start going back and forth and trying to change our sample right here in the driver. Uh, actually, it's not even letting me uh, right now because it's locked down. Of course, there are other options in here uh, that we have. You can see that it's using 24-bit 44.1 whenever we come to that advance, and that's why we're locked, Okay. And, uh, you know, we also have exclusive mode options. We're not going to get into that. You could try unticking that if you want. And that might help you out. It might not. But most of the time, I recommend that you do not use your interface, your audio interface, as your main interface. Instead, you know, I have another set of speakers that I have connected right to the computer. So that's what I prefer to use for all of my computer sounds. And I like to leave my 11 rack or complete audio six or whatever ASIO interface you have. I personally like to just use those for my DAW, whether it's Pro Tools or Bitwig or whatever the case may be. So let me cancel out of this. And we'll go ahead and close down Pro Tools here. And now I'm going to show you how we can disconnect, uh, so to speak, our Avid 11 rack in our case. But the, the main point is how you can disconnect your ASIO interface from being the default playback engine in Windows. Now, there are a couple ways we can do this. You know, some people are going to tell you to come to Control Panel and then come down to Sound. You can do that. It's uh, the exact same thing, okay? I prefer to just come down here to our tray, right-click our speaker. We have all of our options right here. So we'll go to Playback Devices first, okay? And as you can see, that check mark indicates that our Avid 11 Rack, again, that's our ASIO interface, is our default playback device for for the computer. Again, meaning uh, Windows Media Player, meaning YouTube, meaning any sound that would come out of the computer. Okay, not not Pro Tools, not any of these uh, audio programs, okay, but just our uh, a default playback device. So if I were to even just do something like that, that's coming out of the 11 rack. And so that's what I mean by uh, default sounds or computer sounds. Okay, and by the way, more than likely whenever you first set up your Avid 11 Rack, your Complete Audio 6, or whatever interface you're using, more than likely Windows is going to automatically start defaulting that as your main audio device. You pr Again, you probably don't want that. Feel, again, feel free to try it out. If it works for you, fine. We can always come down here to Properties and change a bunch of things in, in advance here and try to get it uh, you know, working better. Plus, you'd have to also go into whatever... Uh, you know, audio device uh, you're using, um, you know, Complete Audio 6 has its own uh, driver program. 11 Rack has its own driver program as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to this here. Come down to our tray, right click our speaker icon, come to playback device. As you can see, Windows has automatically set our speakers for the computer, the default device to the Avid 11 Rack. Also, we have all these other options, which are branded with the Avid 11 Rack entry there. If we come over here to the recording tab, you'll see we have a bunch of uh, recording interfaces that are the default as well. So the the default, not again, not for Pro Tools. This is for Windows. Okay. So just keep that in mind. My suggestion to you for your ASIO interface, just to avoid problems with Pro Tools, your DAW, and you know, keep in mind all drivers are different. Some audio manufacturers have better drivers, ASIO drivers than others. You know, in my experience, Avid drivers are usually best when they are not the system playback driver, usually. But, you know, again, feel free to experiment, just sort of reverse these steps to uh, enable, say, your 11 rack to be your uh, uh, main interface. So in order to disable that, it's real easy. We'll just simply right click and choose disable. See how easy that was? And I would also suggest you go through and do that to everything that says 11 rack. So again, here on the playback tab, we'll just right click here where it says SPDIF, hit disable, line one, two, disable, line three, four, disable. 
And now we have our speakers high definition audio device right there. Okay. And if you want, you can always right click and go to the properties advanced. You can see what that's set to for the default format. Okay. So now our speakers will be the speakers I have setting on top of my monitors because you see that written here and you might have to uh, restart your computer uh, by the way, which is a good idea, which we will do. But let's come over to the recording tab, right click, disable, right click, disable, right click, disable, right click, disable, right click, and disable. So that's all of the 11 rack stuff is now disabled from being the default for our Windows uh, sound. All right. So now let's go ahead and restart our computer and then we'll launch Pro Tools and now we'll, we should be able to change sample rates, no problem. All right. So now we have restarted the computer and we'll come down here and check, go to playback devices. And as you can see, the 11 rack is disabled. That doesn't mean it's disabled from Pro Tools, by the way. That just means, or whatever DAW you are using, uh, it's just disabled from being used for the computer, okay? And we can see that our speakers here uh, that I have plugged into the back of the actual computer, okay, that I have sitting on top of my monitors, that is what the computer sound will come through. Uh, so if I were to, say, go to YouTube or, uh, you know, Windows Media Player, Okay, so that's coming through uh, uh, our speakers, uh, not our monitors, but our speakers that are plugged into the computer. Same if I just adjust the sound, we'll hear the ding. Okay, and then we can, you know, that way we can still hear all the sound from our computer, from YouTube, from, you know, the internet, where, wherever. And we can also, that way, use our ASIO interface without it being, uh, you know, held hostage uh, by Windows, by the sound system, by other things. Okay, so as you can see, we are in Pro Tools here. And now I can change the sample rate very easily. Okay. Also, let's go in here to uh, our driver. And we should be able to change it now. If you remember earlier, it wouldn't even let us, uh, wouldn't even let us switch things up because Windows had held that driver hostage. Okay, so now we can use our drop down. And uh, of course, there's no reason to in this case, because uh, because Pro Tools will be able to change our sample rate. Now, some audio interfaces, uh, you'll need to change it beforehand before you get into Pro Tools. If you want to use, say, 48 or 88.2 and Pro Tools is going to 44.1. Uh, but since the 11 rack is an avid product, it plays great with uh, with the Pro Tools. I can leave this on 44.1 because that's what it is right now. But as soon as we change it to 48 here and start a session, so we'll go and start a session. We'll just call it session three create it and it'll come right up for us okay so now we have a 48k session no problem and we can still play back our computer sounds which of course is that's coming through the uh our task game speakers there okay so no problems there at all and you can go about creating your session adding you know whatever you want whatever uh instruments or record whatever sounds you want and you'll actually be able to use your interface uh like you want to like, like i said at the beginning this is something that you will definitely need to know how to do especially for troubleshooting because sometimes you can't change the sample rate well it may be because windows is holding on to that driver now that's the number one thing usually the number one thing that you'll uh, want to check sometimes you might get clicks and pops or even sometimes you may come to Windows Media Player or you may go to YouTube and you're not getting sound and that's because they will be, there will be a mismatch uh, between your settings in here uh, in your, in your uh, ASIO interface and the actual computer, which um, yeah, I guess I could show you real quick here. But as you can see, Pro Tools is working absolutely fine now. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that for no reason. Why not? And uh, we'll just come down here. I'll just mention one more thing. Come back here to playback devices. Now, if I were to go ahead and enable this, now that's the default device. I just hit OK. And now I were to come to Windows Media Player, we're going to have a problem, I'm pretty sure. So let's try to play this. And, ah, see, we get the X. Hmm, not going to play. Try to play this. Not going to play. Play this. Not going to play. All right, now this is sort of outside of the scope, but the problem is, first of all, you could restart and that should resolve itself. But if you don't want to restart, you can, you could come to playback devices. And again, like I said, this is sort of outside the scope of uh, what we're, we are really talking about here. 
but you could go to your ASI device, right click, go to properties, come to advanced, and you can see we have 24 bit 48. So you'd probably want to change this to 16 bit 48. Or again, it's going to depend on your actual interface and uh, a couple other things perhaps you might have to come into your uh, uh, control panel and switch this to say 441 and then try switching these around say 16 bit put this on 441 put this on 16 bit we'll just hit apply see format not supported try this format not supported try switching this you can see that we're having all kind of problems here and there we go. So now we got it set up. This is on 48. This is on 16 bit 48. And we hit apply. Okay. So now whenever we go to play this. Now it's coming from our monitors. Okay. But again, then we're going to probably have the problem since this is now our default device. If we go to launch Pro Tools now, we're probably going to be locked out of changing the sample rate. I mean, we'll see here. All right, so now Pro Tools is launched, and as you can see, just as I had predicted there, we are locked out of changing the sample rate because, once again, Windows has a hold of it. Now, like I told you, if, feel free to come in here and try unticking the exclusive mode, but again, you're just act, sort of asking for problems uh, because if, you know, if you're running in Pro Tools or whatever DAW and then something else is trying to run with the same driver, you can start getting pops and clicks and all kinds of problems. We can hit apply there. Okay. Now, of course, we're not going to see any difference now, but maybe if we uh, close down and start it over, perhaps we would see a difference. Then you might want to restart your computer. That's actually the smartest thing to do, but since we're recording this video, we'll just... We'll just uh, do this, uh, we'll do it live. Okay, and there you go. You can see we are, we are still locked out. Now that's could be specific to the Avid 11 rack. You know, I've had drivers act, uh, act different ways. It just kind of depends. Uh, but, you know, you're f absolutely free to try that. Again, see we're locked out of even switching things here because, because Windows already has it locked down. Again, you should, if you restart your computer, the way it acts will be slightly different. Uh, so you may want to try that as well. I'm just trying to give you some tips. If you absolutely have to have your ASIO interface be your main interface for not only Pro Tools, but for Windows, those are just some tips that uh, you can use by coming to your playback device. Again, making sure it's enabled. You can set it as the default. You can go to configure speakers. That's another thing that you can do, which I'm not going to go through, but uh, you can set all this up as well. But I would suggest, once again, just for, <laughs> definitely for troubleshooting, if you're having any trouble with Pro Tools and you have your ASIO interface as your main interface for Windows, the first thing you need to try is disabling your ASIO interface from Windows and just use your integrated sound for Windows, okay? And leave your ASIO interface for Pro Tools. That's the number one troubleshooting step in a lot of cases. Clicks and pops and, and uh, all kinds of... Uh, you know, AAE errors, and of course, not being able to change the sample rate. You got to try this first. Disable, right click, disable, go through everything. Now, again, in my case, this is called 11 rack. If I had my complete audio six plugged in, I would go through and disable everything that said complete audio six on both playback and recording. Okay. After I did that, you'd hit apply and restart your computer. Very important. Restart your computer and then try launching Pro Tools, and then you can continue troubleshooting if that did not fix the problem. But that is something you definitely need to know. And once again, if you want to use your ASIO interface, sometimes you can. It usually works better if you're not changing sample rates all the time, okay? But, you know, it's pretty easy. Just, you can always right-click it and choose Enable and go to Properties, Advanced, and try try changing this stuff around to, uh, you know, whatever works uh, for your computer and the way your computer is set up. Okay, so that is it. That's all you really need to know uh, in order to disable your ASIO interface from Windows, from the Windows sound system, from being used as the default sound device. One more time, just come down to the tray. This is the easiest way. Right click your speaker icon, go to playback devices. Once the sound window pops up, come here to the playback tab, right click and choose disable and go through all of 
the entries for whatever your interface is. Again, mine is the 11 rack. Maybe you have a focus, right? Maybe you have uh, you know, complete audio six. Maybe you have some other, some other ASL interface. Just right click on all of them that appear under playback and disable come over to recording, right click and choose disable on all of those as well. Apply. Okay. Then come down and restart your computer, then launch pro tools and see if you're able to change your sample rate and uh, if Pro Tools works any better for you, okay? So just remember those tips on disabling your ASIO interface from being used as your Windows sound interface. <laughs>